Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. Take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com. There you'll get full access to this tutorial, but you'll also get the full project downloads. You'll greatly accelerate your learning if you work along with the video. So go sign up at woodproacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your video. And we'll see you soon. So before we start measuring countertops, we need to calibrate our measuring tools so that we know that our measurements are accurate. We don't want to measure something and think, oh, well, this is this is three feet when it's actually six feet, you know? So I'm on my measurements tab. I'm going to choose calibrate. Now the instructions say to select two points. Now the best way to do this is to choose two points of a known dimension. So if I have dimensions on my drawing, it makes it super easy. If I don't have dimensions on the drawing, well, I, I have to find some. So I'm going to snap to, I'm going to pick a point on this 20 foot length here. So I pick those two points. I'm going to enter the distance, which is 20 feet, zero inches. And now I'm calibrated. Let's, let's test a dimension. Twenty-four feet. Okay. Now, another thing I may want to do before moving forward is to adjust the precision. We're doing this is a rough countertop takeoff. I'm going to shoot, I'm going to set my precision to one inch. That way, as I'm snapping down dimensions, it's going to round up to the nearest inch. If it's more uh, pre precise work, you know, I would I would choose a different precision, but. In this case, one is good, and then it'll give me nice clean numbers on the page. My totals are going to be in decimals to the thousandths place anyway, so um, if I need a, exact numbers, I can always look at my markups list and get those. Uh, now we're calibrated, and we're ready to take measurements. I'm going to measure this first unit, unit 1A. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw down my dimensions and we'll talk about it after I get done. I did this dimension wrong and I'm doing it on purpose because I want to talk about something in a minute. So just note that. I'm gonna do vanity. Okay, now your blue beam probably made these dimensions red, and that's fine. Red, I don't, on the white background, like I can't see red too good. My eyes are going bad. So my default is blue. Um, yours is red. Feel free to keep it red. The colors don't matter as long as you know what each are for. Now, So now I have my dimensions down. Probably want to make final adjustments if I if I need to this four foot eleven on this I'd really rather it look like five feet there we go now let's talk about this dimension here five three is measured here I'm gonna draw a line that will represent the field joint here if I'm placing this field joint here then I really want this measurement to go from the stove to the field joint, okay? Um, because this peninsula is going to be one solid piece of material. So, you know, think about that. That's going to be kind of a shop option. Different people would have different philosophies in how uh, to do this field joint here. They may even do a diagonal, which which in which case I guess you would measure 
to the column there. Um, so that's always a consideration when doing this. Now let's kind of identify this. Let's organize and identify this by uh, unit as well as uh, kind of the area. I'll start with the vanity. I'm going to click over to the properties tab and I'm going to change my subject to uh, I've already done this so it's going to auto fill. I'm going to change this to unit nope 1A vanity okay I'm also going to color code this as well and with the text a little darker okay so it's color coded it's tagged unit 1a vanity and let's do the next one unit 1a peninsula and then I want to select all of my kitchen perimeter you know 1a kitchen okay so now let me open up my I have everything organized by kitchen peninsula and vanity I need to know that it's different in the pricing I need to keep that broken out so I can get an accurate quote here so that's the gist of it and it's you know doing one of these for each type let me do, this is a very cookie cutter sort of project, a lot of repetition. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to do every single one. I'm going to do one other and then you, you can do the rest on your own. I'm going to do one that's drastically different. Um, well, let me do one that's the same first just to show you how easy it is. So here's area 1C or unit 1C pasting that in I'm gonna drag everything as a group there we go right in the right location and here so see unit 1c is done now all I have to do is change my tags so that it's it says unit 1c instead of 1a okay so that's see that's done that's unit 1c let's do one that's that's drastically different I'm still not gonna start from scratch because there's a lot of kind of customization and mo and modifying and then the tagging itself I don't have to repeat that work so um, I can just make a copy of this vanity because this is a two bath unit and then I can just drag the the nodes, the snap points of my dimensions around to get in the right spot with that vanity. Um, just dragging things around. It doesn't matter if this is different, if it looks different. See, this is actually the same. It's just a rotated view. Um, I think. Let me finish dimensioning it. And we'll know for sure. Yeah, it is. Still, that was faster than doing, you know, 
measuring everything and doing it by scratch. Let's change. I'm going to hold shift key down to select more than more than one dimension. So I just need to change my subject to the correct unit. I can use select. See, look, I did this window and I inadvertently also grabbed the the peninsula, which I don't want. So I can also hold the shift key, select that, and it actually deselects it from my group. So now I just have my my kitchen dimensions. So this is, geez, I forgot the already. So this is 2A. Okay. to a peninsula now we have three of our units done let's take a look at it in our markups list and yeah I mean it's 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 uh, shaping up the way we would expect got our different uh, different measurements for each unit type and area so we're on the right track the next thing will be to complete this and then we'll start entering this into our spreadsheet well we hope you benefited from this quick tutorial uh, don't forget that you can go sign up and get access to this full tutorial and many more. It's free for now, so be sure you head over there and take full advantage of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon at woodproacademy.com.